Okay, after we analyzed the fundamental uh, fundamentals of the company, uh, we, we found that based on fundamentals, based on these fundamentals, the company is in a range of buying, but not on a, the best position of purchasing. Okay, next step, uh, we'll look at technicals. Now, I didn't go uh, in the last few years, I just took uh, from 2015, and we can see in order to show you this high, $96, $97 was the highest, and this is drop, okay, which went to $72. Now we can see that it's kind of steady growing. So uh, this low is $72, here it's $76, here it's $78, right? And we don't know what is going to happen right now, okay? So it's still on the uh, downturn. But if you connect, I don't connect this part because the whole market was crazy here in January uh, 2016. Everything went down and after that it spiked up. Uh, it usually happens like that. Uh, so, but uh, if we take it from here and I connect the bottom parts, these two dots, I can expect based on technicals that it might touch this area around $80. Okay, maybe a bit less. And uh, when I put a parallel line, I can see that this uh, line around $86, here is uh, around $88. So I can assume that when it finishes this roll, it might go and finishes the next one around $90. It's based on technicals. But uh, also, I always put parallel lines. And uh, when when I see this, uh, this point here, this here, uh, it's touched that level, uh, third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time, this is quite strong support level. Now, it, for nearly two years, every time when company gets to this level, it has a high ch probability chance to like uh, move up after that. Okay, a uh, few breaks through one, two, right? No, in here, really, really tiny one, three. Okay, so it gives me certain confidence that if share price drops to this level to around seventy-eight dollars, it might stop here. Okay, so it might not break through this level. Okay, and uh, remember, based on uh, fundamental analysis we have $73 level that's the perfect for us so it's here so it's about this drop in uh, January 2016 so that would be a perfect opportunity to us for us to purchase this company kind of yeah but uh, at the same time we understand that technically because a lot of traders they look just on technical analysis as soon as it catch this level uh, they might start buying this and uh, uh, they will push the price up okay so if you uh, like this company and uh, you decide to invest in this company uh, definitely it's not a good time right now and but it might drop down and might represent a good opportunity uh, to enter this position okay uh, again we try to find based on technicals we try to find situations like that here okay or like here okay when we see MACD uh, we see that it start growing up. We can see that stochastic cross level here, that RSI as well. At the moment, what we can see on that level, we could see only uh, stochastic and RSI. MACD was kind of close to zero. Still, the share price moved up, but now it's moved down again. So for us now, we can see that MACD is still going down and all the indicators are neutral. So it's not the, uh, from technical point of view, uh, we don't buy this company right now. We wait until it uh, like changes their position and maybe like uh, based on that so it could be around 78 79 dollars uh, okay level so th that's kind of uh, higher pre predictability i'd say like that okay and then when it start growing up again i told you just that it could be 88 dollars but at the same time look at this levels uh one point here here it's holded this position for quite a while uh three times four times five times six times seven times uh here it's a bit didn't get so this is quite strong resistance level and we can see that now again it's touched it uh tested and moved down again so 84 dollars quite a strong resistance level so that's why we can expect easily that it might move between 78 79 to around 84 dollars uh, in this area so it might continue the parallel trend 
and uh, until they have some news about acquisition maybe the news about acquisition or uh, if they don't acquire their company it might trigger the like the move up or move down okay despite like it depends on how market will uh, perceive that uh, accept that news okay now guys uh, technical technically is it everything clear perfect Okay, uh, possible strategies. Now, if we looked at, again, and uh, fundamentally the best time 73, but based on technicals, we can see that it might go only to about $78, $79. Of course, we have to reevaluate re the situation when it gets there. But for instance, if I was putting my trades now and putting my strategy, I would do something like that. Okay, uh, I set four strategies here. Now, they are like examples. So when you develop your own strategy, you have to take into consideration your own situation, uh, the amount of money you have, the, your experience on the market, uh, the duration of your investment, like, I mean, uh, uh, spam, spam, how long you're planning to hold the shares, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I divided four uh, on four areas, two of them just buying and selling, uh, the rest to uh, including uh, like options now first if you're a long-term investor if you uh, buy and hold strategy it's uh, this type of strategy is suitable for those who uh, cannot spend much time on the market cannot spend much time analyzing stock and etc but they prefer to buy strong stock uh, which grows uh, even if, if it doesn't grow that fast, but still it grows, uh, pays dividends, etc., etc. So this stock might be uh, as an option. Okay. Also look at the uh, Nike before we analyze uh, analyze them. Hershey at the moment they're a bit high, but still uh, you can have them as a list. And when they whatever company out of them um, reach the target price, target buy price, you can uh, invest if you want to. Okay. Now if we buy this stock at the support line, $78, dollars and hold until 120. Where did I get this number? I got it from our four by four analysis. That's the gap. That's a hold range. It was remember it was 96 to 119, right? So that's why I put $120 here. So possible waiting period, three to four years. Uh, it's up to 51% profit. Okay, it's much better than uh, bank rates. Right now, another strategy is for more active traders. If you roll in stock, so you buy low and sell high using technical analysis. So again, if we go back to uh, this particular trading analysis, so what we can see, we can see uh, that was the low part, right? Uh, Seventy-two dollars, and it was February. Here we have. Uh, $86, so it was what, $14 growth, and it was April, so it's one to two and a half months here. Then we see again here, uh, May, end of May, and then uh, it grew up here, it was June, so it's two months waiting period, okay? Uh, the whole drop finished here, October, we can see that December, so it's October, November, December, two months growth. So if we buy it on that level, around $78, uh, we can easily expect to wait two months until it goes to the level of 84 to 60, $88. So it might give us six to 12% profit within two months. Okay, that's a rolling strategy. Sometimes, because that's not very volatile stock, if you go to value line, you will see that it has um, beta 90, so it's below market, so lower than market uh, volatility, and that's why we don't have this high profit on uh, rolls. If you go to different companies, you might make much more money on rolls because sometimes you can make this amount of profit within weeks, not months. The second strategy is BR. Uh, by rent, uh, like uh, rent selling covered calls. So what we can do again, all the time we buy shares at around $78, $79. But again, if you see that market uh, moves lower, you move this price uh, lower as well. And then we sell to open, for example, February 17. So it's like less than one month left, $80 call. 
and uh, if it happens within the next couple of days, few days, uh, I, I believe you can get about uh, one and a half, maybe two dollars, uh, some somewhere in that range. Okay, it depends on the, how many days it will take until to get to this uh, 78, 79 dollars. It might happen tonight, but might happen in a week. And if it happens tonight, you will get this premium. If it happens in a week, this premium will be less. So it will give you about 1.8, 2.5% on the rent profit. Also, if you buy it at 78 and then you sell at $80 call, you might get $2 profit if your shares are taken from you. So because you bought it at 78, then uh, some, someone will take it from you for $80. So you'll get $2 here. Uh, one and a half dollar here altogether profit 3.5 which will be around uh, maybe four five uh, percent right so something like that and uh, another one like do you understand about dr strategy why i put this number i'll explain you why i, I put here the spreadsheet not spreadsheet uh, option chains and at the moment the price is 81.50 okay and if we look right now we can get like the spread is 168 185 so it means that if we buy right now for 8155 we can sell it at one dollar sixty and we, we get it by doing this we reduce our average price to seventy dollars ninety whatever four cents right so it's about something uh, 70 cents um so it would be 79 dollars 80 cents if if we do this type of strategy if it grows above we fix the profit, we get $1.68. But if we wait until it drops down to $78 and then back to $80, we, we can expect that uh, it, it's going to be about the same, about the same, not exactly the same. It might be something like that, okay? So it might be about $1.50, maybe $2. It depends if it's above uh, $80 when you bought it at $78 and then you sold it when it's above $80, you can get this premium. So that's why I put approximate $150, $190. So it's a pro approximation. It might be more, it might be a bit less. Okay, and gives you this profitability. Now, another strategy, if you don't have the shares, you can sell naked puts. Uh, I like selling naked puts and I explain, I'll show you why. So for example, if I sell put right now, okay, uh, and uh, I use $80 strike price, okay, I can sell it right now and get $1.26, okay? Now, who can tell me what would be my average price if eventually I have to buy shares at eighty dollars? Because when I sell put, I promise to someone that I'm happy to buy shares at eighty dollars, and they pay me. It's their security. They're afraid that the share might go to seventy-two dollars, right? And uh, they are paying me one dollar twenty-six. So, what would be my average uh, buying price? if I eventually uh, have to pay $80. Correct, Peter. So it's 78.74. And uh, when we look at this area, we have this um, average price, $78.79. So it actually fits to my target buying price. So what I can do instead of waiting, right, for these three strategies, uh, when the share goes to $78, $79, it might never go there. It may be tonight turn around and go to $88. It might happen. Market is unpredictable. But by selling put, I kind of, if I buy, I buy it, that would be my average price. But if it never goes to $80, I just get it in cash. So I get uh, all this money, $1.26 in cash. Of course, if the share price keep going down right now, and uh, gets to $78, I'm going to get much more uh, premium as a put. That's why I put here that I could get uh, $2 or $2.50 easily, maybe even more. If the share price goes to around $78 level, I get only $2 of intrinsic value, real difference between 78 and 80, and then I will get maybe $1 uh, in uh, time value. So it would be $3 or maybe a bit more. Okay, so it's uh, it's again it varies uh, depends on the uh, price of the share at that moment and also depends on when it's going to happen. If it happens tonight, I will get more. If it happens in a week, I will get less because some time already will disappear. 
okay? And uh, that would be my average price. So if I get it's uh, $2, my average price would be $78. If I get $2.5, my average price would be $77.50. So which is pretty good. It's much better than 81 okay uh, that's how i like work and um, if uh, shares put to me after that i wait until i go and maybe use this strategy and uh, like i mean mostly roll strategy and i would sell them around 84 88 dollars or maybe i start selling calls okay so it's uh, depends on the share uh, i use all of them but guys again remember before you place any trade you have to fully understand all possible outcomes of it don't rely on my opinion okay you have to invest uh, because you invest your own money so that's why it's very important to make your own decision if you don't miss don't know this company don't put money in there only put money when you really understand the company when you analyze the company and you are confident with this company okay that's really really important and also like uh, always have plan b what happens if it br you bought it at 78 but it breaks through and going down, down, down to $70. What are you going to do? What's your actions? You have to know it before you pay for the shares. Okay, that's very, very important. And uh, it based on your own psycholo psychology, how well you can um, wait, like, I mean, uh, be confident that company went down and uh, it's 10% loss on your investment. And uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to wait? Or you're going to buy more shares, or you're going to sell it and close the profit. So you have to know that before uh, you place any trade. So it's really, really important. Okay, put pluses if you understand that. Okay, um, now I put here two chains. One is for February, another for March. Um, Walgreens Boots they have weekly options, so you can sell weekly options. Uh, at the moment, I chose just to show you uh, monthly options so you can uh, see and uh, for example if you look at uh, puts 81.50 and just to compare them you can see that now you can get one dollar 91 cents for 81 dollar 50 strike price or oh, here it's no so let's have a look at um, what strike price let's have a look at 82.50 okay here we can get 2.36 and if we look at 82 here it's three dollars so we can see if we sell it for one month extra, we get only what, uh, 64 cents extra. So it means that uh, our profit for additional month only 64 cents. So it's less than a percent. So that's why it's much more profitable to sell shorter period of calls, sometimes weekly, two weeksly. Yeah, but like not uh, try to sell not more than a month. If you buy, you buy longer. But if you sell, you sell smaller distance because you get the maximum time premium for that okay 